Hi everyone, welcome back to another cook along and today we have an absolutely delicious meal for you that's super easy to prepare and just tastes wonderful. You'll love it. It's a roasted vegetable couscous and it's just full of vitamins and flavor and I cannot wait for you to try it. So if you'd like to cook along with me, let's get in the kitchen. So here are my lovely ingredients. And first of all, what I'm going to do is just preheat the oven. So right here, I'm gonna to go to 200 degrees like so. Now, here are my ingredients. So I have, in terms of the vegetables I'm roasting, I've got an aubergine, I've got a lovely sweet potato, and I've got some broccoli. And I also have a lovely big bowl of garlic here. I have a lemon, I have some lovely parsley, um, and then I've got couscous as our grain. I've got a tin of chickpeas. In terms of spices, I have cumin powder and smoked paprika. That's gonna give it a lovely spice. And I've got some golden syrup here, but you can use maple syrup. And I've also got some olive oil. So they are our ingredients. And our optional extras, which you no need, you no need to have, but you know, if you wanna follow exactly what I'm doing today, you can, but these are not uh, important at all. We've got a pomegranate here. So we're gonna add some lovely color and sweetness to the dish. And I'm gonna make a little sauce slash dressing. So I've got a bit of tahini here, which we will use for that. So first of all, what do we need to do? Of course, we need to chop our vegetables. So I'll bring this over here. And we are going to get chopping. So first of all, of course, I need to wash my hands, which is very, very important. Some soap here, and I think one of the reasons why I love this particular recipe is because you know it doesn't require that much um, kind of skill. To be honest, um, you can really just chop, bung it into the baking tray, um, and just leave it. And it's just so, so good for you. You know, I love vegetables when they're roasted. Um, it just provides such a great texture and flavor to them all. So um, it's one of my favorite ways of making vegetables is by roasting them. So I'm just going to save myself a little bit of washing up. Uh, and just line the baking tray. Like so. And line the baking tray. There we go. And then I'm just going to use a glove and put that tray into the oven just to get warm. So I do watch out. Obviously the ovens are really hot, so make sure you're wearing a glove if you're putting it in, or of course, having adult supervision. So got the chopping board here. Gonna get started on my veg. So first of all, uh, I'm gonna chop this aubergine up. So it doesn't really matter um, about the size, as long as everything is um, even. So that's the most important thing really, that everything's chopped evenly. Um, so I'm just going to chop this aubergine into chunks. So I'm gonna go quite chunky today. Um, so remember, when we're cutting, we're using anything sharp, we always get supervision from an adult. That's really, really important. Um, so I'm gonna go very chunky today. So we don't have to go too, so that looks good to me. Nice and chunky. So it doesn't require a lot of chopping at all. So that will do. As long as it's sort of even, that's all we need. So we're gonna go. So bridge on top, half, 
and then four pieces like so. Two, three. And that's the aubergine done already. Look at that. Super, super easy. Now we're gonna go with the broccoli. Give them a bit of a rinse under the water. Like so, I don't know how much broccoli I'm gonna need. So we will see how that goes. So we're just gonna do nice, big chunks of broccoli. So you can actually tear it if you wanted as well. But as long as we have just about an even amount, that's okay. So let's see where we're gonna get this. Again, as long as it's a similar size to the aubergine. That's all we need. So we'll go with this, like so. And go here. And that looks just about all right. Yeah, that looks good to me. So we'll, we'll just use one today. And this, you can actually use this. Um, so you know what, I will use some of it. We don't want it to go to waste, do we? So we can also roast this as well. Um, maybe we'll just kind of make little bitty pieces like this. So the, the, this part is really, really good for you, so we don't want to waste it. So we'll keep that in as well. So we'll keep this for later, for another time. And now we have our sweet potato. So you can eat the skin. The skin is very, very nutritious and also delicious as well. So I'm just going to give it a good old clean. I think two of this size would be just enough. So we'll see how that goes. And again, it's just about creating um, pieces that are equal to this size. So with this, really, I can actually, I don't think I'll need to, so just cut that in half just to make it easier to cut. And how is that looking in terms of size? Right, in that case, to be honest, I think we can make chunks like this. Like so. So remember, being really careful, bridge, knife there, and make, let the knife do the work. So I think that's a good size there, and that will roast at a very similar rate to the aubergine. So I'm just gonna make little discs, like so. Go, little disc, little disc, little disc. There we go. Looks good to me. Let's cut this a little bit off. And look at the colour already. You can you know that when this goes in the oven, the colour is just going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, what I'm going to do actually is just cut these pieces in half because the sweet potato will just take a little bit longer. So I'm going to cut these pieces in half like this. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think we can do with maybe half of another one. Just cut that so it's a little bit easier to work with. So the aubergine will definitely shrink quite a lot in size. Okay. Like so. And in half. There we go. So we have our pieces there. And look at that in terms of color. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really is. So I'm gonna keep this, making sure I don't waste it. I'll keep this for later. I'll wrap that up maybe. So that is pretty much all the chopping that we need to do. So we just add one little bit more and that will be for the garlic. So we are going to be roasting this garlic. And this is one of my favorite, favorite things to do is roast garlic. So what we're gonna do is very, very carefully cut this top bit here from the garlic. Just so that the top is exposed. Sort of like this, so you can just see the top bit here. And we are going to wrap this up 
in tin foil. So I'm gonna get tin foil out like this. What I do, I lay this flat here, put the garlic down on the tin foil, like so. And I'm just gonna get a tiny little bit of oil and just really, really carefully drizzle that oil onto the garlic like that. That's all you need to do. And give it a little, little rub. So all the garlics are in there like so. From that point, just wrap it up like a little gift. And that is going to be full, packed full of flavour. So you know, garlic in itself is delicious. And when you roast it, it just gives this amazing sweetness, this richness to the garlic that is oh, just tastes phenomenal. So that's what we'll do. So that's our little garlic package done. And that is pretty much one of the hardest bits of the entire meal, which is why I absolutely love tray bakes because this is all you need to do and then you just let it roast. So our tray is probably a little hot now. So we will start putting our vegetables in. So first of all, we are just going to put our vegetables in very carefully. So at this point, it's obviously very hot. So it's really important that we're careful when we're laying these vegetables down because obviously it'll be very, really, really hot. So let's add the aubergine in like so. And we just want one layer. So try as much as possible just to have one layer because um, it's sometimes hard to cook properly when it's everything stacked up against each other. So do be really careful with your hands and I would recommend uh, you get an adult to help this. There we go. So like so, all those vegetables in there. Lovely, lovely. It's looking delicious. I'll have to take just a little bit of that properly out just to fit the aubergine in. Delicious. Oh, this is looking good. Right, so next we will drizzle some of this olive oil on. Just a nice little drizzle. Be really careful because you can definitely get a bit too overexcited with the oil, which I have done many, many times in the past. So do be careful. And this is a probably about two tablespoons of oil. But you can use less if you want. It'll be absolutely fine if you use less. So you've got to keep an eye on it a little bit more in the uh, oven. Lovely. So there goes our oil. And then we will use just a little bit of mixing. So next, we've got maple syrup. So we're going to just drizzle a tiny, tiny, tiny bit onto the aubergine and the broccoli. So just a tiny, tiny bit. You do not need to put any more than a touch on. And then we are going to get our paprika, our lovely smoked paprika. And we're just gonna do a touch of the paprika onto the sweet potato. I absolutely love the combo of sweet potato and paprika. So just a little touch a little shake like so. It's gonna give it that really tasty smokiness onto the sweet potato. Like so, there we go. And of course, a little bit of salt. So you can adjust this to your taste. So this is why I like to put it in my hands first. And that way you can adjust it to your taste. But just a little sprinkle of salt, like so. Not too much, I want to keep it light with the, and you can always add more, but you can't take it away. So do be careful with the salt. I think I've just about put enough salt there. So I'll sweep the rest away. And next, we just give it a little toss and a little mix 
So hold the baking tray with an oven glove like this, and that way you can just give it a good old mix with the oil, like so. This is the fun part, a good old mixy mixy, like that. And there we have it. That is that done. There's the oil. Shrug a little bit here. There we go. So, I'm just going to carefully put those, separate those out just so that comes out, it'll be nice and delicious, there we go. And making sure that it's all flat on one side, so making sure that it, there's not too many vegetables stacked on top of each other, otherwise they won't really cook properly. And there we have it. So, we have our sweet potato there, our aubergine there, and our broccoli there. And that, all we need to do now is very simply put it in our oven. The oven's ready. And we're gonna let that go for around 25 to 30 minutes. And that, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So, that's that done. Oh, I forgot about the garlic. <laughs> so, let's not forget to put the garlic in. Put the garlic right in the corner. Right there, so I'm gonna put the garlic right there in the corner. Put everything back in. Okay. Tada! It's like 25 minutes in that goes. So next, we are going to sort out this couscous. So let's sort out the couscous, shall we? Um, so I'm going to boil the kettle. And I'm going to put around a liter of water in. So I'll put a litre of water in. Like so. Put that on boil. Lovely. Uh, and I'm just gonna clear my desktop. So I'm just gonna clear my workstation and I'll be back with you guys very, very shortly. Righty ho, so my water has just boiled. Very exciting. I've got a little pot here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to measure out my couscous first. So I'm going to use this mug here. And I'm going to measure out about a big mug's worth. Okay, so that's one mug. If so use a mug, I would suggest pour in like so. And then just to add a teaspoon of salt. Like so. And that will give it a nice flavour. Season the couscous. There we go. Just mix that in. Now to that we will add the water. So, you know what, I'm going to add a little, yeah, that'll be fine, <laughs> that'll be fine. So we're gonna add boiling water. So really be careful here, making sure that we are supervised of any hot water. So to the mug of couscous, I'm just going to add one and a half. So for every one mug, you use one and a half water. Just, there we go, like so. 
and all you're going to do at this point is give it a stir like this and then we cover like this and that is all you need to do for the couscous for now which is fantastic really and super super easy and now we're going to work on our chickpeas the final part of the puzzle while everything is waiting we will sort out our chickpeas so i'm just going to get a frying pan like this need a frying pan like this and me i would say let's go with a medium heat and we'll add just a touch of oil like so that should be fine that's about a teaspoon of oil there so we're going to heat that up in the pan and in the meantime i will drain these chickpeas so i've got a tin opener here just going to drain the chickpeas very tasty oh look at that so i'm just going to get a Drain, drain, drain. Uh, let's see if we've got a colander here. Sort of. This will have to do. So be careful, it's very sharp these tins, so really do be careful. Let's give them a good old drain. Like so. Those drain just a little bit. So really shake it. <laughs> there we go. All that water out of there. So I'm going to recycle. Make sure I recycle my tin. So yeah, the oil should be quite hot now. So yep, yeah, obviously when we're working with any kind of heat and oil, making sure that we are supervised. Um, so please do not use any hobs or anything without the supervision. So we've got our lovely chickpeas here. Just gonna drain them a little bit more. Make sure we get as much water out of them as possible. And we are going to add them to our pan. So, like so, add them to the pan. And make sure we get all the chickpeas in, like so. So, I'm going to toss these in the pan. It might take a little bit of time to heat up, so just wait a little bit, and they should heat up very nicely. And to this, we are going to add a touch of cumin. Lovely, wonderful cumin. So if I can get this pack open. Okay. Very careful with the cumin, because it's quite, quite spicy. So be careful, but just a little touch of cumin across the chickpeas. And this is about a teaspoon. So a teaspoon of cumin, you can already kind of smell the wonderful, wonderful flavors. And that should be just fine. So give them a good old shaky, shaky, like so. And you're gonna allow those chickpeas to just fry off and absorb all of that wonderful cumin flavor. Get nice and crispy. So, mm. lovely, lovely. Couscous is looking great. Uh, let's have a little check up on our vegetables. They're yeah, looking good. I can see and smell some browning, which is delicious to me. So yeah, it's all looking good on this front. You can hear the sizzle now. 
from the chickpeas, which is good. You can start to smell the spice, which is lovely. Mmm, delicious. So all good signs here. So we kind of just want to get a little bit of crispiness from that wonderful, wonderful chickpea. Um, and yeah, I'm already starting to smell the lovely spices. It smells fantastic. Righty ho. So here we've got a lemon. You might as well start prepping everything else. This is the, the best thing about this dish, is it just gives you so much time to prepare everything. So I'm just going to cut this lemon, I'm going to roll it and cut this lemon in half. Some of it we'll use for some things, other, other, other things we'll use. So a half a lemon here. So, some, so here I'm gonna work, I might as well work on the optional, optional extras we have. Oh, that smells fantastic. Please. So, the optional extras we have are sauce. And a pomegranate. So this is by no means, you know, you don't have to do this at all. But I think once in a while you have to treat yourself. So this is something called tahini, and it's a sesame seed paste. So if you are allergic to sesame, please do not use this. Um, but if you're not, you should be familiar with it. You might find it in a lot of hummus. The tahini just gives this wonderful nutty rich flavour um, but it's really important of course that if you're allergic to sesame you do not use tahini. So what we're going to do is pour some of this tahini. I estimate about Ooh, yummy yummy. So I'm going to try and get about 100 mils of tahini here. So this is pretty much the rest of this tin. Just got a little bit left over from making hummus. Like so, I can hear my chickpeas popping away, which is, smells delicious. And I'll empty that out in a second. I've got this lemon that I'm gonna squeeze two tablespoons, which is about half half a lemon so I'm gonna hold it like this so that I'm getting all the seeds so I'm gonna squeeze like so and get all that wonderful juice out and I'm holding my hand out so I'm catching all the seeds lovely juice oh lemon make a bit of really nice acidic flavor like so so there we go that's gonna give it a lot of Great tang. Oh, got a little seed in here. Didn't do very well with that, did I? A little seed. So mix that, mix that in. And then we are going to, I was going to give this a little good old shake. Uh, and then we are going to add some of the maple syrup. So it's going to add a touch of maple syrup in there, about a tablespoon will do. There we go. In that goes. And then we have to thin the sauce out. As you can see, this doesn't really have the consistency of a sauce. It's more of like a spread, shall we say. So you just have to add some of the hot water we use for the couscous in, in order to thin that sauce out. And so to add a little bit at a time, again, the water's hot, so really do be careful and we're just going to add it slowly into the mix. So I've just added a tablespoon there, give it a mixy mixy mixy. Again be really careful because of course as I said it's really hot. So be careful and just slowly add that water until, you know, it depends on how you like your sauce. You know some people like their sauce is thick. Some people like it really, really runny. And oh, I can just smell that. And look, you can just you can tell when you, when you 
pour that over what we've just made, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to add a touch more. So I want it a little bit more runny. And there we have, it's going to be a divine sauce. So we can set that aside for later. And I'm going to add a bit of the parsley in there. As you can see, that's going to be absolutely delicious. So we'll set that aside for later. If you look at our chickpeas, they're doing well. They're crisping up. They've almost done, really. Almost, almost done. They're smelling, you know, nice and spicy, which is good. Our couscous, how is that doing? Let's have a look at our couscous. I mean, it's pretty much almost done. I'm going to use a fork. I'm just going to fluff up the couscous a little bit. And look, I mean, it's pretty much done there. So look, that's how easy couscous is. So that's, that's good to go, which is just incredible. So with the couscous, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, so this is still going. So the chickpeas have just a tiny bit more. I'm going to get them a little bit crispier, but they're looking fantastic. Oh, the smells from this kitchen are just ugh, amazing. So I'm just going to get a grater. And I'm just going to have a touch Add a touch of the lemon zest into the couscous because this is all just free flavour right here. So really, you don't want to waste. Um, you're gonna have to scrape it in the middle. You really don't want to waste this lemon zest because this is just packed full of flavour. So really, add and bolster um, the dish. So you're gonna add some of that lemon, oh, just lemon couscous, just uh, all the good things that you want. And all these flavors are just gonna sing together, I tell you, sing. So there we go. Lemon zest in, give it a good old mixy, mixy, mixy. And I also would like to add some of the parsley into the couscous. So I've got some of the parsley here. I'm going to finely chop it into the couscous. Um, just get the leaves. Try and leave this, you know, I don't want all the stalks in. But it doesn't mind, I don't mind if I get a bit of stalk in. So I'll just have some of these leaves here. I'm going to pick out the leaves. And I'm just going to very, try and do it a little bit fine as we put it into the couscous chest so nice and careful with the knife no rush and we're just going to very roughly chop like so ruff, ruff, ruff. turn it over chop it this way no rush whatsoever be really careful with the knife and you can do a technique where you just rock like this so you put your hand on top of the knife like this and just rock the knife up and down and that's a really safe way of cutting uh, especially something like herbs so hand on top and just rock the knife up and down through the herbs so yeah i had a nice handful there that looks great to me. And oh, look at these chickpeas. They're looking fantastic. So. There we go. I think that looks fantastic to me. So I'm going to add all this parsley into the couscous. And we have ourselves, and you can just start to see the couscous sing with herbs. And it's just delicious. So as you can see, just mixing all of that in. We've got, got lemon in there as well. It's really going to taste fantastic. Okay, so that's 
that done. So the chickpeas have been going for about 10 minutes now and they look just about done. So I think for me, that's the kind of color you want to go for. They're popping, they're singing, they've got a nice little crust on them. So that's where I want to go. So I'm going to turn the heat off on that like so. The couscous is just looking fantastic and I'm sure it's tasting fantastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little try of this couscous in a sec and see how it's getting along. So it's going to be a little taste. Let's see what tastes like. Mmm. Oh wow. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. So with the remaining lemon juice, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of more of the lemon. So I've got the um, I've got the grated zest in there. And now I'm just gonna squeeze a nice handful to freshen up that couscous. In it goes, like so. Give it a good old mix and stir. And yeah, that's the couscous done. Oh, look at that. So, so easy. Really, really, really easy. So we've got a nice lemon couscous here. We've got our wonderful spiced chickpeas. Now all we need now, I'm just gonna separate out those herbs. So all we need now is those vegetables to be on point. So I'm gonna put this away. Let's see how our vegetables are doing at this point. Have a little look. Oh, looking fantastic. Really, really are. The broccoli is getting a little bit brown. So I'm just gonna have a little check and see how it goes. Oh wow, the smells are incredible. So here you can see our wonderful vegetables and they're just looking fantastic. So I reckon another five minutes in there and they'll be perfect. So we're just putting everything together now slowly. Here's our little sauce. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to just have a little clean up of the kitchen, done with that. Put this away, I'm gonna get some of the water, put it in here. Just give it a little swirl. Just wanna add, I'm gonna get every last bit of that tahini out, don't we? I might as well add that in there. Lovely, and I can recycle this once I clean it properly. Just put that away. This. So yeah, slowly mix in that sauce. So you know, you get it at the sauciness level that you want. Oh, it's looking fantastic! Absolutely fantastic. And I'm just going to taste that now um, and see how it tastes. Of course, if you're serving for other people then use a new spoon that you're going to have to clean afterwards. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is just absolutely delicious. That is, wow, well, wow. And that is at the consistency where I want. But if you want your saucier, of course, add water. A little bit at a time, just add water. But yeah, that is good to go there. So those chickpeas are good. I'm gonna put a lid on the couscous. So yeah, it's all coming together now very, very nicely. So, um, so the final thing is the pomegranate. So of course, again, very, very optional at this stage. Very optional, you don't have to use pomegranate at all. But I just want a little bit of extra sweetness to the dish. So, what we're gonna do, how do we prepare a pomegranate? So very, very carefully, we're just going to, on the outside, just cut round like so. You're not gonna cut all the way through. 
just break the skin. And you should feel that and then twist like this and rip apart like that and look at that. <gasps> that looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. So you're gonna just break it apart like this. Break it apart like so. Oh! <laughs> classic, classic. So there we go. So we, what we want is these beautiful, beautiful seeds. So what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna use this as a way of catching all the seeds. Gonna clean it out. Now, oh, my, I'll use a bowl actually, I'll just use a bowl. There we go, that's how you know it's live. So we're just gonna get our wonderful thing here and I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use a rolling pin, but you can use a spoon a wooden spoon of sorts and just tap like that and you get all the wonderful wonderful seeds look at that just be careful of course not to hit your hand look at that I've got most of it ah uh, so again you're going to rip it open just a slight bit like this don't be too overzealous like i was there we go I'm just gonna tap and hit like that and pomegranates are just delicious, absolutely delicious. You can eat the seeds, seeds are really really good for you. So don't worry about that. Oh look at these wonderful wonderful pomegranate seeds. Tap 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 tap. Oh what's, up? what's happening? There we go, I've got enough there. Away. And the final part here. And there are my pomegranates. How delicious. And they're gonna be, oh, they're gonna look fantastic and they're gonna taste even better. I tell ya. So there we go. Oh, I'm trying to get the last bit out of here. Oh, look at the mess I've made. <laughs> Luckily, we have plenty of time to have a little clean up before we, um, before we get started. There we go. Look at that. Oh, there we go. That's me all done. So I'm going to put this in the bin. And there we have it. Lovely pomegranates. So I'm going to add this here. And I'm gonna start, so I'm gonna have a little clean of my work area. You know, the, the, the vegetables have a little bit longer left. So I'm gonna have a little clean. Ooh, how does that? And um, yeah, then we can start plating up. How exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna sort this out and look at this. Um, and you'll have plenty of time. So if you, if you clean as well, and then come back in about five minutes and then we'll start plating up. And this is the good bit. So here it goes. Right, well, let's take, start getting things together. So, we're going to turn off the oven. And let's have a look at what we have here. Oh, wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna use my oven glove and take out the roasted garlic. So we need to unwrap the roasted garlic. So um, I'm just going to use a tea towel, which is one over here, and this oven glove. So of course it's gonna be super, super hot. So it's really important that we do not burn ourselves. So using the oven glove, you might have two oven gloves. Just very carefully unwrap this garlic. Like so, and it should be, oh. It should be looking a little bit like this, just all creamy and delicious. Be really careful, it's super hot. That should look a little bit like this, wow. And look at our vegetables. 
Oh, I'm just so, so excited, I can't even tell you. All right, so we just need to sort out this roasted garlic here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very, very carefully, and it's, this is very, very hot, so you do have to wait a little bit longer. I'm gonna wait for two minutes. Um, and, oh my gosh. All right, so here's my chopping board. And with the chopping board, I'm just going to very carefully, and I'm gonna use a fork for this. But we just want to get all that amazing roasted garlic out. So I'm gonna wait for two minutes for this to cool down. And then once it's cooled down, we can squeeze some of that roasted garlic. And we're gonna put some in the couscous. We're gonna put some in the chickpea. And we're also gonna spread some on Maybe we'll put some in the sauce. We'll put some in the sauce. <sighs> Food and life is a wonderful thing. Right, so I've waited for the garlic to cool down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these each one and squeeze out all of that wonderful garlic flavor. And again, it's really hot, so it's really important that you wait for this to cool down before you do this. But look at this. So I'm just going to squeeze this out. So remember, it's really important. You don't do this until it's cooled down. You just squeeze out from the top. And you get all of that wonderful garlic flavor. To be honest, you just do it a bit like that. Squeeze out like so. And we have ourselves. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Just so, so excited. And there we go, just squeeze out all that wonderful garlicky goodness. Emphasis on the goodness. There you go, all right, that's all good. So this is just all skin. And what we are left with is just this in beautiful garlicky flavor there. So what we're going to do, well, this is just a little bit, um, so we'll take that out. So with this garlic, we're going to mix it accordingly. So I've got it in my hands now, so what I'll do, I'll just start brushing it. I'm going to brush some of the garlic that I have in my hands onto the broccoli. Might as well get rid of it in a good way. And give my hands a good wash. So we need a knife here gonna chop some of this garlic up so it's, so it's nice and broken up and we're going to spread it out accordingly oh my oh my there's lots of flavor in here so with my spoon I've got my sauce spoon here I'm just going to take some of this garlic that I've used for the sauce and I'm mix that into the sauce so a little bit of the garlic's gonna go in there that's going to be delicious. And I want a lot of this garlic to go into the couscous. So I'm gonna add the garlic into the couscous. And the last piece of garlic, I will just spread across the aubergine, like so. Oh my, oh my. And I'm gonna give the couscous a good old mix. And then we are ready to plate up. Oh, dearie, dearie me. So here we go. Just gonna move this to one side. So, got the roasted garlic in there. So I'm gonna give it a good mix to make sure that the garlic runs through the couscous. And you're gonna have to give it a good old mix. Oh, I can smell the lemon from the couscous, like so. Right, so, so let's plate up, shall we? So I've got myself a bowl. Let's do this. So first of all, I'm going to sort out some couscous for me. A little bed will do. A little bed of couscous. Like so, that will be absolutely fine. 
like so. That looks delicious already, doesn't it? Okay. So, there goes my couscous. Now it's going to add some sweet potato, little pieces like that. Oh, very, very excited for this. Got a little streak of sweet potato there, which just looks lovely. I'm going to add maybe some aubergine, little line. We can be a bit fancy today, why not? Let's get a little bit fancy with the plating. And a bit of aubergine here. One more piece. And then let's go with some broccoli here. It's very browned. <laughs> piece here. Lovely bit of broccoli there. Look at that. Now we're going to get some of the chickpea. I'm just going to sprinkle some of the chickpea in the middle like so and maybe just sprinkle it a little bit around mostly in the middle. Oh my, my mouth is watering. My mouth is watering right, right now. Oh dearie me. And we are going to add some of the pomegranate. Like so. Oh my gosh. This is really starting to come together, isn't it? Can't really see the sweet potato. Lift this up a little bit. Oh dearie me. Um, now I've got this sauce. It's going to tear some parsley leaves and give it that extra bit of freshness on top. Like so. Let's get some of the leaves. Give it a good old tear. Like so. It's looking good. And last, but not least, oh, this sauce, and then it's going to drizzle on top. Give it a good old mix. And we're just going to have to drizzle like so. some of the sauce on top and there we have it there we absolutely have it a bit more parsley fresh parsley on top oh, that is going to be an absolutely sensational meal and I cannot wait to tuck in. Thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait to tuck into this right now and I really hope you enjoyed cooking along with me. I will see you guys next week for another delicious recipe. Have fun and enjoy the meal. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!